we doing, folks? It is your boy, Marcus. Get it off here some Wasteland Wednesday. And uh, today's topic is a, is a pretty... It's, it's, it's interesting. I'm really curious to see what you guys tell me, man. Because I, I always like your feedback. I always like to see what you guys are doing. Y'all the pros here, man. I just play Call of Duty every once in a while and have some good games. But y'all the ones who actually know about this game. I don't know none of the stats. I don't know none of the information. I barely even know the guns. I don't even know what this gun is. Type 25 suppress. Never mind. I got you. Um, anyway. Play some Hardpoint on the uh, Fine Range on Studio right here on the remake. Um... And the, the, the main thing I was thinking about when I was watching this video was I'm playing with a Type 25 Suppress. And that guy's playing with an LMG, so I don't, I don't even know what... Um, when you look at Hardpoint, what's the objective? You gotta hold down this little spot right here and protect it. So everyone's gonna keep rushing at you, you know, you're guarding a small area, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It makes sense, right? You know, in, in theory, when you're playing the, the game mode, you're gonna think to yourself, I'm gonna wanna use a submachine gun. I'm gonna wanna use a shotgun. That's kind of it. Those are kind of like your options. Like Those are the two guns that I, I want to use. Because you're in a small, confined space. And you want to kill people in that small, confined space. That way you get more points for being in the small, confined space. And you can also get your kill streaks a little bit quicker. Okay. I mean, that was just stupid right there. I was jumping out of the damn thing to see if anybody was coming in. Little did I know that there already was somebody in there with me. Should have been watching the door. Oh, well. You make mistakes. You live. You learn. So. Man, this guy right here, I don't know why he was standing. Oh, he was standing over there to see if he could see down the way. Okay, that's that's pretty good. All right, not a bad, not a bad spot right there. I see you. I've done that a lot. Um, then my man right there in the corner managed to pop me. I'm like, come on, yo, we got to rush over here to this hard point. So, to me, I understand this. You know, you want to use a shotgun, you want to use SMG. It makes sense to me, right? In my mind, it's like, yeah, of course you want to do that. You want to adapt your guns to the situation you're in. Okay. Um, I, personally, I adapt my guns more to the uh, stage I'm in. So, Type 25 Suppress is kind of my go-to gun, and Assault Rifles are kind of my go-to gun um, when it comes to the, the, the firing range remake, when it comes to studio. A94 as well, I'm getting popped from the damn, uh, the damn uh, hallway side over there. And I duck down. Um, that's, that's my go-to guns in, in, in these game modes. You know, I like the Assault Rifles, I like to have the range on it. Uh, it kind of, you know, it doesn't remind me of the FAMAS per se, but it gives me some of the lines of sight that I had with the Famous that I really enjoy. I do a lot more picking my weapons and my equipment based on the map than I do the game mode. And that guy just sniped the shit out of me. Oof, I'll give you an edited version because that was brutal. Um, that's that's kind of how I pick them, you know, based on map. And, and I, I, I take into account the game mode a little bit, but not really that much as you've seen right here. This is not... I'd rather have a gun that I'm comfortable on the map than I can use those lines of sight. Because the lines of sight... I feel really carry over from game mode to game mode. Even if you're playing with these small little areas right here, uh, you could defend it with a Type 25. I mean, you don't have the, the efficiency you'll have with a shotgun with it, but you could do it. And it also gives you a little more versatility to use the lines of sight that you normally do. Because the spawns are, are fairly similar um, in most game modes, so you kind of know where the spawn is. So if it works in one game, it should work in the other game mode. But I want to ask you guys what you guys do. Do you adapt your gun and your classes to the, the, the game mode you're playing in? Or do you adapt them more to the uh, to the uh, to the map, or do you adapt to the both, which I guess is the ideal way to do it. Um, but you only have like ten classes too, so I mean it's not like you can really be adapting that much um, to everything. I mean you have the sets and whatnot if you bought the DLC or whatnot, but it, you know you can't change those in game, so you only have ten classes when you go into a game. Uh, I guess you could have a ton of just hard point classes if you wanted one of them, but whatever, you get the gist of that. Um, so I, I, I go with the map before I go with the the game mode. Um, and there's a couple things that kind of carry over, and I think it's kind of how, how I play. You know, flat jackets on everything. So I understand, you know, if you don't use flat jacket normally, like in Cook a Firm when you're playing or Search or whatever the hell you play normally, um, I could get that you have a tactical class with that. I have a tactical class. I'll bring it out on occasions in any game type. I don't care what it is. I don't care what map it is. I have a tactical class for every gun. So I have this Type 25 how it is right now, and I'll have it, you know, with, uh, with the tack mask, and I'll have it with a hard wire if need be. And I have also, you know, the, the whatever submachine I'm using at the time, whether it's a PD Dubs, MSMC, or the uh, MP7, and I'll have a tactical version of that. That's kind of how I set up my classes. Um, I feel it's the most efficient right there. Adapting to the map and to how the other team plays, rather than necessarily adapting to the game mode. Because um, if not, I'd be every time I use hardpoint, I'd be having a shotgun or I'd be having a submachine gun. Um, and it makes sense. I mean, they're both good guns in this game. They're both good options. It makes a lot of sense, but it's not how I play it. I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with this dude. He's got a flat jacket. And I'm like, oh, say word. You got a flat. Where the hell did he go? I'm like, man, this guy's a Houdini. He's still playing Ring Around the Rosie. I don't have any more bullets. I'm like, oh, boy. Kill that dude. And I'm like, that can't be the same guy. Miss with my knife. I mean, you just see that? I just lunged into thin air. 
And I stabbed Thin Air. And I killed Thin Air. I killed it good. I done did Thin Air dirty. And there we go. Managed to get the three piece right there. And my man was still lying there. That's brutal. That's that's rough, man. You, if you clear out a whole hard point right there, my man gets me now. I probably should have paid a little more attention. Probably should have seen that, um, you know, there was still that they still had a cap, but whatever. Coming over there, my man's standing in the corner. This is a very interesting, this is a very tough one for me. Uh, they people just park themselves in corners and do that. I don't, I don't stand, I, don't, I just, I don't like sitting in corners. Um, I don't do it. I don't do well when I do it. Um, so this doesn't change that at all. I was on top of the desk. That's, that's where I play this one at. Uh, but that's, that's what I do that at, man. That's, that's, that's what I do. That's what it is. Man managed to clap me right over there. So, yeah, but down in the comments below, man. How do you adapt your classes? Or do you even adapt? You just have gun. This is what the gun I'm using, and that's all I do. Uh, it's very interesting. People do it different ways. It's not a right or wrong way. It's never a right or wrong way. In this game, you can do whatever the hell you want, whatever works for you, whatever works best. Knock yourself out. Um, but the way I feel most comfortable is definitely have different uh, class setups for different uh, guns for different maps. The map is ultimately what determines how I play. The lines of sight that are given to me in the map are the ones I'm going to use. Not so much the game mode. The game mode, you can adapt to it. But the map, you can't. Um, and throw the EMP over there. I'm like, hold on. They got to be coming out there. Boom, man. Just to pop my man. Save them. You're welcome, homie. Even if you didn't thank me. You're welcome. Ducking around over here. I see my man with the Remington, so I felt the need to step out over there. Unfortunately, he had a buddy over there. He was a little bit smarter and a little bit wise, and saw a little bit of things clear. Managed to get me. So I'm throwing the EMP over there. I wanted to EMP the two guys inside the white trailer. Make sure that they were confused, hurt, dying. Don't get any hit marks. I'm kind of confused. One of them was behind over here. All right. They still got a cap, though. This time, I do pay attention to who has a cap. My man was just basically shooting, throwing a bullet. Nothing. Thank you very much. Duck and duck. And I see his contestant. Get up. Get one. Get two. Woo. Light him up. Now, I'm looking. I really wanted to go inside that damn. Uh, on that window and get these guys. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm just gonna go around and get them. I'm looking, looking, boom, man. Just to get that dude right there with the last couple bullets. I'm trying to dolphin down my way out of there before I get the visa. <laughs> Such a cruel world. Why would you kill me before the visa? You mean, mean, mean persona. That's life, though. That's all right. We good, we good life. Check this C4 up in the middle of the EMP. Now I'm a little bit confused, but there's a hard point right there. Uh, the cool thing about hard point, and I, I kind of, I don't really know the hard points 100%. I have a general idea of uh, where they are uh, you want to know where the hard points are that's one definitely determining factor in, in hard point even um in, in demo especially in search you know search is uh, you want to know where like the spots are at where you know people normally are at because you, hey, you get one life you want to know where it is and check that bad boy out that's a quad feed c4 and give me that dude with there for the frenzy real quick i think it didn't count for frenzy but whatever maybe it did i don't know we'll see um i just get a ton of shit right now because all those guys are on the hard point man it was crazy I, man, thank you very much for all lining up right there. Gotta love it. Yeah, it was a frenzy. It just takes a couple years to show up with all the other stuff we got over here. Look at all these tags. These medals, I mean. Wow. That's what drones coming out here and moaning, folks. I was feeling it. I thought I was going to have a great game. I went with the stuff. I went with the V-Set. I went with the Death Squad. I thought I was going to have a great game. Hey, didn't do it. So I'm going around here with the next one. I, You know, if there's five, six, ten... Seconds left on that hard point. I don't even go for it, man. Even if it's like free, I don't go for it. I'm going for that next one. I'm trying to work my way around him here, pushing the whole team back so a teammate can hop on it. Fortunately, that guy managed to get me a good kill right there. I'm looking, looking, looking. I'm like, come on, man. We got to get on this damn hard point. The whole team's like hovering around. These guys snipe me from the side. Brutal, but hey, made me spawn a little bit closer. Ain't got no worries. Putting in my vein. I ain't got no worries. I ain't got no worries. Yeah, I ain't got no worries. C4 and out over there, and we wrapped this bad boy up right there. So 63 to 23, not bad. He got six caps, 17 defense. Overall, pretty good. And that's, you know, one of the things you got to adjust to. You know, I, I defended a lot more than I capped this game just because I had a longer range of sight on my gun. And my man right here was trying to find me, and instead he found a suppressed MP7 in the back of his head. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hope you have a great Wednesday, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.